How would you like to know the number one place that I'd plant a listening device in your home? Well, I'm going to tell you that way you can protect your privacy and be safe. My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer and I may know a thing or two about surveillance and privacy and how people are going to spy and watch you. Let's say you came into your house, right? And if you're a spy, maybe you're overseas, is you're going to pay attention to your furniture. You're going to know exactly where your furniture is, maybe exactly how many inches from the wall or how many inches away from a, another piece of furniture. That way, if you go back in your house and the furniture has moved at all, you may know somebody has moved it to plant a listening device. Of course, depending on if they're amateurs or pros, you're going to look at the wall and you're going to see, is there any paint that is off? Meaning, is there any new kind of paint spot that doesn't match perfectly? Or is there any drywall on the ground? Now, pros aren't going to do that, but the amateurs would. So those are ways. Now, if you're in the spy world, maybe those are ways you have to take. But it's much, much easier to give somebody a gift versus break into their home and plan a listening device. So for example, again, maybe perhaps a real operation or not a real operation. Maybe you give somebody a nice cloth or maybe you give somebody a rare painting that they take into their house, excuse me, and obviously inside that clock, inside that rare painting is a listening device. That is a much easier way to get somebody to bring the listening device in their house instead of break into it. Now, of course, what if there was an invention? Maybe something called a Google Voice Assistant. Maybe something called an Amazon Alexa where people are knowingly, gladly, quickly ordering this device and putting it in their own home. That would be a wonderful way to spy on somebody, wouldn't it? So you don't even have to convince somebody to, hey, here's a clock, take this gift. You don't have to break into somebody's home. They willingly order and put this device in their house. If you think that the government is not watching and listening to you, you're out of your mind. So personally, I have no Google Voice Assistants or Google or Amazon Alexas or any of that stuff in my house. I don't have any of it. Um, I would not recommend it. I mean, I, I get that people like, you know, be able to say whatever and have order from Walmart or have music turn on, but there's a price we pay for convenience. So you gotta find that fine line between safety and privacy and convenience. So I don't recommend it. Also, when it comes to physical planting of bugs, people ask me like, hey, I think my car, you know, an, an ex-employee has a work car, they may have planted a bug in it, or I'm worried that an ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, blah, 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 planted something in my apartment. The simple way to do it is I just said, look around for anything that stands out of the order. Run your finger under everything. I mean, spend the time to run your finger and look under every countertop, every desk, every chair. Because if you hire somebody, if you bring me and my company in, it is thousands of dollars to do a real bug sweep. It is a significant amount of money. The equipment to do a, a high-end bug sweep starts at $25,000 in itself. So when people are trying to hire me and my company, I'm like, listen, do this first. Go around with a fine tooth comb, running your fingertips everywhere in your vehicle, everywhere under, every, again, every kitchen counter, in your dishwasher, in your cupboards. I mean, spend the time to go through everything. And since anybody who planted that, meaning it's probably an ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, et cetera, is a knucklehead because they're doing something illegal, you're not dealing with a foreign government, you're not dealing with an intelligence agency who's gonna be much tougher, you can most likely find these bugs yourself. And if for some reason you can't, you really want a word and you want to pay me and my company a significant amount of money, then yes, you get to hire us. But I highly recommend doing it yourself first. Of course, you're going to take off all the outlets. You're going to take off, you know, anything. You're going to look even on the, uh, the window seals, the blinds. You're going to spend a good amount of time going through that. And probably 95% of the time, you'll be able to find any kind of device that somebody's playing. If you are a high net worth individual, if you're a celebrity, if you're a politician, then yes, you may have to worry about higher end threats where you may want to bring me in, but otherwise do it yourself. So now you know how to find bugs. Also, now you know not to accept gifts from people you don't know and trust. Even if they said to you, you just met them and they're, hey, here's this wonderful flower. I bought you a, a flower pot or a gift of flowers. Well, maybe they only need to listen to you for a few days and they only need those flowers to live for a few days before you throw them out. So be careful accepting things in your home from people you don't trust. Get rid of all those Google Voice and all that nonsense you don't need. And make sure you do a better job of protecting your privacy because it's very, very important. And it's so easy to spy on people these days, especially when they willingly bring things to their house. That's pretty much all I got for you. If you want more information on how to escape the surveillance state, if you want really high-end tactics that I use and other people use, and again, I'm being wishy-washy for a reason, all you like to do is click on the link below and you will see the Escape the Surveillance State book, which is a tremendous amount of information for you. 
Also, like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification. I am former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Protect your privacy. God bless you. God bless your family.